when Florida's governor forbids state employees to use the words climate change, you may have read about it in the Miami Herald or the Washington Post. But viewers of these videos knew the story months ahead of the mainstream press. One person slipped up and used the word climate change. They're not allowed to say that. Governor says, no, you shall not use. If you're a state employee and I write your check, you can't use the word climate change. The phenomenon whose name must not be said, right? That's, that's how they were referring to it. Long before the mainstream media covered the debate on the global effects of Arctic sea ice loss, I interviewed the key scientists from opposing sides of an emerging scientific controversy. In recent years, you followed scientists in the field on the cutting edge of climate research in remote parts of the world where rapid climate change is affecting us all. And seen the videos that are required viewing for informed citizens, scientists, journalists, and policymakers. In 2013, a crowdfunding campaign helped Dark Snow Project investigate effects of Canadian wildfire, depositing dark soot on remote Greenland ice sheets. Since then, you've been able to follow key scientists answering in-depth questions on the most important emerging issues of global climate change. And you've been introduced to the passionate people who devote their lives to uncovering mysteries of climate's past and future. We've also worked in uh, deep geologic time. Now, Greenland is 23 feet of sea level, 7.3 meters. The climate system is changing right before our very eyes. I mean, this is something that anybody can see. You don't have to be a scientist. That if a company is selling products that are killing people and lying about it, that's a problem. The darkness and the mass change actually have a tight relationship between them. Greenland ice sheet is deglaciating. It's retreating. Four to six feet of sea level rise, that is dramatically uh, important to how we manage our coastlines. This sector is sort of doomed. It's going to keep retreating no matter what the climate does. The fuse is already blown. I don't think we can start right away with the science. I think we have to start with the values. There's just a fundamental issue of morality, that, that we were given this planet in a certain form, and I think it's our responsibility to leave options open for future generations. I think this is so important, and you're getting the word out, and I think that's what we've got to do now is, uh, you know, reach people who need to hear. Now, as 2016 global temperatures spike to record levels, there's never been a greater need for good information. It's never been more important for dark snow to be in the Arctic again this year, showing you places you've seen and many that you haven't. Your support has never been more urgently needed to make sure this historic unfolding global story is told. Go to darksnowproject.org and click on the support button. You can donate online or send a check, but earmark your donation for Fieldwork 2016 so that Dark Snow can go on being a voice for the scientists, a voice for the planet, and a voice for the children of all species. <laughs>